Hey everybody, by demand, okay, uh, I'm going to show you how to replace some buttons. Uh, I get asked a lot about how to do this, and uh, I think it would be benefit for my uh, my children and uh, some other people. So, uh, the first thing, uh, the, the problem here is the the buttons are, are really starting to come off. Uh, if your button has been removed and all, you'll see the spot. Let me cut this one off, and I'll show you. Okay, uh, you'll see the spot underneath, and um, uh, where where the button goes to. Okay, and uh, of course the button will be in the pocket or so. Hopefully they save the button. If not, you're going to have to get a another button. Uh, go ahead and cut all, cut all the uh, thread off. All right, and sometimes it's a pain because machines actually do this. And the machines have a very unique way of doing it. So go ahead and remove all the buttons. I'm not going to do this in front of you because uh, it does take time getting this out. Okay, after the, after it's all cleaned up, what you want to do is get some thread. This is a size 50 black. It goes good with gray. And uh, I'm going to do about, I like doing a lot. So I'm going to take about two feet of thread. And uh, you want to get yourself a small set of scissors. Alright, don't use uh, like kitchen scissors or big scissors or fabric scissors. Just a small set of scissors. Alright, and then uh, set the spool aside. And then you're going to thread it. This is the fun part. Now I have to take my glasses off and I can see up close. Some people need glasses to see close. So, wet the tip a little bit. And then uh, put it right through the eye. And there it is. Okay, grab the other side, and you're going to pull it out, and a tiny, I do a double knot at the end. I want to show you that I took the, uh, what I did is I took two pieces of string, and I whipped it around my finger, take that off, and put the string in between. Do the double, uh, double again. And this one is going to lay right on top of the other knot. Just bring it down and go right on top of the other knot. And you have a nice big knot right there. Okay, so we're going to come up from the behind uh, without, without, the, uh, without it there right now. Go right in the same hole that it was at. Okay, and then put the button on. All right. Make sure you put the right side, the decorative side, of the button up, and come in, uh, come in the hole. Now you have a distance thing. Uh, usually they're about a quarter inch to half inch away from the seam up here. Bring it all the way through. Make sure you're tight on the other side. You're going to trim off the excess down to the knot. Okay, so you're going to come in and just trim that and put that. With the rest of your clippings, all right. So, uh, so with this, uh, I'm going to go do what's called a what I call a crisscross. You go and go to the opposite. Um, I'm trying to get the light on this so you can see it. Uh, and let's bring this up because it's okay to bring it away from the fabric for now. Pretty soon we're not going to be able to do that. So um, go ahead and bring it to the opposite over here. Get some light on that. Okay, so we're going to cross the threads coming out this side, going into that side. You want to do the crisscross, okay, and push that back through. Make sure you're not going through another fabric. If your fingers are on the other side, go around where you're going through so you don't prick your fingers, don't pin. You'll do it. If you do a lot of sewing like I do, um, you're going to, you will definitely prick yourself. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to go through this other one on the other side, all right. And um, what I, I'm going to show you something I don't like doing, and I, and uh, I, I really don't want to uh, encourage you to do it. Don't bring this up and go right back down with all this on this side, uh, because you're going to knot it up. It's going to come in and knot up. So do it nice and slow. Make sure this is going in straight over here. Okay, nice and slow. So you don't get tangled up on the other side. All right. Now you're going to come down the opposite on the other side here and go down. And same thing. 
So you're going to keep going back and forth. See, there's a design. There's a nice little crisscross design. You're going to do that to where we get about five or six going across each side. The cross is uh, coming up from underneath through the fabric through one of these holes and looping it back in this one going underneath the fabric coming back up into this one come up and back down into this one when you go back down you're going to repeat it by bringing it up this one and up and around and back down this one and just keep going do that you know five six times I want to show you something that happened on the bottom I'm trying to keep everything in one general area but I have a little thread there that got knotted up on the way through this is what I was talking about so I don't want that hanging, and I don't want to cut it, and I couldn't straighten it out for some reason. I didn't see any problem with that. I'm on the uh, downside. I came down here. So I need to come up on this. So I'm going to go over that and come up. Right in there. So I'm over it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, hold this side, pull it out. The button's not moving now. It's, it's down there. So I'm holding the other side so it doesn't knot up and pull it through. And what I did is I battened down or pushed down, flattened all the thread on the other side. All right, so now I'm going to come down this side. And pull this through. I have... Uh, I think I have about four. Just chugging away on this one. You know when it's snowing outside and I can't get out because I'm in a wheelchair. Right now I'm on the bed doing this. Uh, I'm I'm kind of isolated. I can't go anywhere. It's a good time to do something like this. Now don't think that I'm a you know like a housewife. Men can do this stuff. Uh, where I picked this up from was 20 years in the Navy. You're out on a ship. You broke a, a button, came off your shirt or jacket, whatever it is. Uh, you had to fix it. And the Navy actually supplied in the sea bag a sewing kit. Along with a polishing kit for your shoes. You know, I don't know if they still do that. Uh, you can leave a note if they do. Um, so it's a, you know, it's something you do for 20 years I did this. Uh, six cruises on seven, was it, seven, no, seven cruises on five different boats, ships. Okay, I, I'm done on this one. So I'm going to come up underneath. I'm going to come through the thread and come underneath and not go through the button. I'm looking at the camera, make sure I'm in. Okay, I'm coming out this way. Now these have to be raised up a little bit so they get through the other one. So uh, what I'm going to do is my I'm grabbing the thread and I'm just wrapping it around about three times. Okay, I'm going to shoot through the base of the threads, staying above above the jacket and below the button. Go through the threads. Basically, I'm tying a knot. Let me get this on so you can see. I want to keep this flat. And then bring it in through here. And I just pricked my finger. No blood. And this is done. So I'm going to trim this off. Get as close to underneath you can. Don't cut the fabric. Don't cut the stuff you just did. And that button is on there. I have another button to do, but you don't need to see that. That's how you put a button back on a jacket. All right. So when he brings up the other jacket, and now what I did also when I put this on, uh, so it doesn't keep sliding off my lap, I tuck the sides underneath me. Uh, that's uh, that's just uh, something I've done. And what I want to do is find the other end of this. It's the bottom one, and go through. All right. So it works out pretty good. Uh, I, I've done. Uh, I've gone as far as uh, fixing these when it uh, when it starts ripping along. I fixed my uh, my coat jacket one time uh, on this side. Okay, it's under the lapel, so even if you don't do a very neat job, it's hidden with the lapel. 
So uh, anyway, uh, that saves you, you know, five, six bucks at a tailor shop. But it's not only that. you got to go to the tailor shop, drop it off, depending on their workload, how long it takes to get done, and then go back and pick it up. You can get yourself a, uh, a spool of thread at Walmart, um, Michael's, uh, any, any place, and get yourself an assorted number of, uh, of needles. All right, uh, this one's got to got to be a little long and a nice big hole, and a thread that's thick enough to actually do the job. You get some really this really thin thread; it's not going to hold on unless you do a whole bunch of times going around. Okay, so hey, uh, I'm not doing a whole lot of videos on sewing. This is just to help out the people that want to do something like this. Uh, so subscribe if you want. I have a wide assortment, over 850 uh, videos online. Uh, I'm reaching 700 on subscribers right now. Uh, I take this moment to thank everybody for watching my videos and supporting me. Okay, uh, disabled vet, um, and uh, I'm going to do one on uh, how I keep Christmas going through the year. And I love the feeling of Christmas, so I'm going to um, create a video on uh, uh, and get your opinion if it's a it's a good idea. Okay, so uh, take care everybody, subscribe if you want. Bye.